New 810, the Huntsville City School Board tabled a vote on a proposal to start charging tuition for its pre-K program. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Naja Sherman. Dan Schaefer has the evening off. Y31's Sarah Singletary was in the board meeting till just about 45 minutes ago, but she's now live, live outside the district headquarters to explain why the board is now putting off the vote. Sarah, what happened? Well, Naja, I can tell you the decision to postpone this pre-K vote, it all came down to Title I funding. This vote was initially near the top of tonight's agenda. The board discussed it, but they did decide to push the vote until the end of the meeting. Board member Michelle Watkins asked the district's chief financial officer to provide specific numbers at the end of the meeting that would provide more details on how this new pre-K proposal would impact Title I funding for McNair and Jemison schools, since both are Title I schools but don't have a pre-K program. The meeting continued and just before 9 o'clock as the meeting was wrapping up, the board decided to table the vote for a future meeting. Watkins said the numbers show under the pre-K proposal that was up for a vote tonight, more than $100,000 would be taken out of McNair and Jemison's individual Title I funding in order to support pre-K programs in other Title I schools. Watkins asked that administrators at both McNair and Jemison be notified of this before the board votes. Now, the board did reschedule the pre-K vote for their next board meeting on April 18th, but if they can't come up with a solution by then, the vote very well may be pushed again. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News.